Hey there, it is Sunday and my closet is finished. It's got a few little tweaks I would like to finish still, but I'm so happy with where it's at and I'm excited to show you. So, this is my bedroom. And I actually did a lot of purging in here too. This table used to be a little bit different, like all four cubbies were packed full. And then I had found mold in the back corner, so I pulled the table away from the wall, kind of cleared out the holes, because they're all just straight through to the back. So hopefully that will help. But the closet is the main project, so let me show you how each section looks. This is the first panel, and it's... Similar to the previous in that I have clothes right here, my dresser right here. However, I don't have anything in the top drawer. I have pants here, and actually I taped the drawer back in because this is an old Ikea, uh, Ikea dresser that I actually got for free from a friend, and when I got it, the drawers were like sagging and didn't stay in very well, so I ended up taping the bottom too. And this is just some old sheets that I save for um, different projects. So I will probably end up putting more in there eventually, but for right now I've got this open space and I love it. I also went through some of my clothes and got rid of a few of those pieces. And I have, I had like 22 ties and I don't have a job that requires a tie anymore. So I couldn't bear to part with them though. So I picked out like four that I didn't need and then I got rid of those. I have my two green bins up there, which I had already, and they just have a couple different projects, like clothes that need to be treated, or curtains that need to be hung up. On this level, I have my bin, which just has all my extra candles, just an extra, like, catch-all bin, and then I have, like, my personal area, so I keep my uh, collar stays, extra buttons, and a lint roller right there. And that is the first section. The second section is like my home office area, so to speak. So I have turned this little shoe organizer into kind of my office supplies using storage solutions that I had already. I had recently finished that tissue box. I really liked the color, so I just threw like my markers in there. I have a bunch of pens, some odds and ends, my label maker, just some, just some general office supplies. That little container has all my sweatshirts from high school. I couldn't bear it apart with them, but I figured if I keep them accessible, maybe I could pull one out every once in a while and wear it as like a throwback thing. So I kept those accessible rather than burying them in the closet. This is my guest welcome box that I keep things in for when I have guests visiting. Each of these totes just has like my office binders and paperwork and just random like filing cabinet items. I don't really have a lot of office needs at home, so the little bit that I have is in there. And then these are just all my extra jars and things like candles that I've cleaned out or ice cream containers that I've cleaned out that I can use for uh, storage and stuff. So that's just all right in there. A bunch of free space. Eventually, like right here will be another tote which has all my Christmas stuff. This is my fall and Halloween and Thanksgiving stuff. A little Ikea table. And then these are just extra picture frames. These are kind of like projects that I'm working on. Cards that need to be sent out. Things that need to hang up. It's kind of where I'm going to put things just so they're out of the way when I'm not actively working on them. And then I kind of have to the side one of these three drawer storage things. I was able to move all of my tissue paper and ribbon into there and so I have my gift bags that I've saved and this is kind of my little gift wrapping station. And here, pardon the uh, flash from the camera, I hope that doesn't help. Um, up at the top I just have some extra storage bins that I, baskets and whatnot. I, for all of this, was able to use things that I had already and so it's awesome that I was able to kind of recycle them and put them to use, and this is all I have left. I have a little decorative uh, candle holder, 
The green bag has a bunch of old t-shirts that I'm saving, just from like conferences and things that I'll wear like on lazy weekends or for painting or stuff. And then these are just old jackets from Color Guard, my warm-up jackets and everything. And then of course the mirror is still right there. Just a few other quick uh, loose ends about the project. Behind the mirror, I have a bunch of pillows, those throw pillows that were on my sofa in, earlier in the video, and a couple different comforters and just things that I will eventually need, but not very um, like maybe once a season I'll pull it out, so it'll be easy enough to move the mirror then. I moved my keepsake box under the bed. My costumes are in an old, I think it's from Target maybe, but just under the bed storage container. I thought both of those things would be nice to have easily accessible. I moved my shorts into my suitcase, which is also under my bed right here. And that was a little tip I learned online from someone. They keep their off-season clothes in their suitcase because whenever they need their suitcase, they can just take their clothes out, put them on the bed since they won't be there. And then when they come home, they can put them back in. And so during the winter, I'm keeping my shorts in here. And during the summer, I'll keep my sweaters in there. And then behind the bed, I'm sorry, behind the door, I have kind of tidied that area up a little bit. I have a curtain rod, which needs to be hung up. This is just kind of like a to-do list or just like a mind dump. I will, if I have any ideas or projects or things I want to do or business cards for things I want to order or whatever, I just put it here and that way it's there when I need it. Um, I also have a color guard rifle. That bag has some light jackets that is a little too cold to wear right now, but I'll pull them out again when it's better. And then you didn't see these before, but right now the bottom one is my linen closet. It used to have both the top and bottom shelves completely packed. So I was able to, the bottom used to have comforters and I moved those into the closet behind the mirror. And then the top used to have my sheets, which are now on the bottom, and then the towels. So I was able to kind of spread it out a little bit. And then the top one, I'm not going to show you because I have some gifts up there and um, whatnot, but that's just, there's also three shelves. So the top shelf is stuff I want to sell. The middle shelf is, a, it's kind of a, right now it's like a junk shelf. I do need to organize that and clean that out a little bit still. And then the bottom is where I have my gifts that I need to give people. But overall, I'm very happy with how it came um, together. And this video is already long enough, so I will say farewell and talk to you next time.